Hello, my name is Stephen Jackson, and I am the owner of People's Depot. In our last video, we talked about what is affiliate marketing and how you can do it right. We're going to be presenting another video talking about how to start an online affiliate business. And this makes sense because many have enjoyed that last video and many want to know how to start an online business correctly. I hope you enjoy this video as much as we've enjoyed sharing these videos with you. And again, my team member, Vic, will be making this presentation to you as well. So stay tuned. In this video, I'm gonna show you the seven key steps for starting an online affiliate marketing business that can generate a million dollars or more. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Vic, and if you are brand new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And while you're at it, smash that like button so we can spread this message to more people that need to hear this. Thank you so very much. Okay, let's get down to business. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about how do you start an online affiliate business that will give you the best shot, the best chance, the best potential at generating a million dollars or more in a single year. How do you do that? All right, and there is seven key, strategic, very important steps that we need to talk about that I don't see a lot of people talking about, but you need to know if you are to build a million dollar affiliate marketing business, okay? You know, if you are brand new to my work, if we have never met, if you have never listened to any of my trainings previously, why should you listen to a word I have to say, right? Well, I am somebody that started out with not having a dollar 19 cents to my name, and I was able to build an affiliate marketing business that was generating at least $11,500 per day consistently. That's right, that's over $300,000 a month simply by selling other people's products. Uh, and that's before I even started talking about affiliate marketing, right? So the intention is to provide to you ideas and information and strategies that can help you move the needle in your business, okay? So listen, what do you do? How do you do this, right? If you are looking to generate income on the internet, in my opinion, affiliate marketing is hands down the lowest hanging fruit. We can collaborate with other companies, okay? We don't have to create those products. We don't have to customer service people. We don't have to have a big office or big staff or big overhead. We don't have to be an expert. We don't have to be like this guru or whatever. We don't have to write a book. We don't have to be this big, super huge influencer. It doesn't need, you know, it's not necessary, okay? But if done properly, you can build yourself a million dollar or more business simply by being an independent affiliate, collaborating with other companies that already deliver products and you can just make money in the middle, okay? But what you will see a lot of people talk about is like simple, go to Amazon or go to ClickBank and grab yourself an affiliate link, start driving traffic and most people fail before they even start. I don't want that to be you, so I'm gonna tell you how to do it right. And this is the kind of stuff that I applied in my business and it, it helped me, comp it completely changed my life as an affiliate entrepreneur. And this is the kind of stuff that a lot of our students, a lot of our people are, are you know, following to completely change their lives financially and otherwise, right? Because if you can get more money coming in to you, you can probably change your zip code, you can probably change your car, and you can be a lot more happier if you have a lot more money coming your way, okay? So my friend, let's talk about the seven strategic steps for starting an online business that can generate a million dollars or more. Step number one, you've got to think bigger, okay? Think big, that's literally step number one. Here is what I mean by this. Let me explain to you what I mean by this. What, before you even talk about what products are you gonna be promoting, what nature are you gonna be promoting, what websites you're gonna be building, right? What are the traffic generation uh, tactics? How do I get cheap traffic? All of these other things that are just noise out there. I want you to get very, very, very clear on what do you want to build, okay? Do you want to build a big skyscraper? Okay, metaphorically speaking right here, okay? A big skyscraper a hundred story skyscraper, see what I'm saying? Let's just do this, stay with me here. I got a big idea for you, okay? Do you wanna build a single family little home right here, okay? Uh-oh, my, 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 my art, okay? Or do you wanna build some kind of a shack, okay? Like a teepee or whatever, okay? What, what do you wanna build? See, most people, they fail before they start and it's their approach. 
So my recommendation, my suggestion to you is think big before you even do anything. It does not require you to do any extra work to do this. If this is like a ghetto neighborhood, okay, or like a single family home, these guys are just like average, they're just grinding all the time, right? Or for you to own like a skyscraper. Let me put it to you like this. It would be best for you to start thinking like this instead of like that. Most people fail before they start because they're thinking like this. And here is what this thinking is saying. Basically, hey, go to Amazon Associates, grab yourself an affiliate link, start driving traffic. Good luck making money as an affiliate entrepreneur. <clears throat> Don't do that. That's garbage advice. You'll never be successful. You'll never build a business. You will never have a real deal affiliate business doing this kind of stuff. Same thing with here, okay? So we're gonna scratch that. Let's get rid of this. Here is how I approach affiliate marketing. This is how I've built my affiliate marketing business that was generating millions of dollars, as much as four and a half million dollars in a single year. Think about it. Didn't have to create products, didn't have to customer service anybody, simply promoting other people's products as an affiliate, okay? As much as four and a half million dollars in a single year through that business model. And that started with me thinking big. Think like a skyscraper, okay? Let me explain to you. What you want as an independent affiliate, if this is you right here, Okay, you're just starting out. Okay, this is you. You want to have money coming your way from all over the place, right? You want what's called a multiple stream of income. Watch. You want money to come to you from this company, this company, this company. You get the point? Okay. If you want to know how to do this, continue watching this video because I'm going to show you exactly how to structure it. And it's very, very important and not a lot of people talking about it, okay? This is what you want. You want to have a lot of money coming to you, not, you don't want to like run multiple campaigns necessarily, okay? I'm going to explain to you what I mean by that. But you want multiple companies or multiple products or multiple offers paying you money and all that has one thing in common. All that money flows into you, to your business, to your bank account. How you structure it your strategy, your positioning in the marketplace is going to be the most important element, the most important step. And that is this. Think like a skyscraper. When you think about the skyscraper, watch. Okay, before you build it, if you were to build a skyscraper, what, how would you think about it? Well, okay, wh wh where, would, wh wh where would it be? Would it be in New York City? Where it, you know, would it be like location, right? So like location matters. Location being like what industry you're gonna you're gonna be in okay what niche okay so in what niche are you gonna play if you're gonna be building an affiliate marketing business like this you want to identify what do you want to do okay think in your head what are you passionate about did you know that you can build yourself a million dollar business as an independent affiliate without creating those products simply by collaborating with companies that are in niches or selling things that you might be passionate about, right? So if you're passionate about electronics, okay? Boom, maybe that's your thing. If you're passionate about sports, if you're passionate about markers, right? Water, advice, relationships, uh, ballet dancing. If you're passionate about finances, numbers, you name it, right? Uh, hardware, software, um, what are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? Cooking, right? Uh, dog training, you know, uh, 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 training canaries how to like perform or whatever, right? What are you passionate about? Just realize that. Just think about what industry or what people, you know, what kind of a crowd um, are you going to be serving, okay? And so that's where you start. Second thing is think like a big building. Think like a skyscraper. Here is why this metaphor is important. Okay, every skyscraper Every single skyscraper, when you go to any city, any state, any country, every single high rise, okay, have a couple things in common. They have multiple tenants, uh-oh, that pay them, okay, get it? They have things like what's on the bottom floor of every skyscraper usually you're going to find, right? Like stores, okay? This store is paying, renting money, this store is paying money, right? And so forth and so on. So multiple flows of income. I don't want to own the product. I don't want to create the product. I don't want to create the store merchandise. I just want to have the, I just want to have the building that owns the tenant. Does that make sense? 
So that is my approach, okay? So step number one is think big, think like a skyscraper. Got it? Okay, maybe that's not gonna make a whole lot of sense just yet, but stick with me, okay? We're gonna go on this journey together. Uh, I'm gonna promise you it's gonna make a lot more sense. No. Now, before we go to step number two, you know, if you are following this channel, if you're a subscriber of this channel, this is a fairly new channel at the time of recording this video, and uh, I created this channel with a simple mission. I'm taking a brand new company from zero to a million dollars doing exactly that. Okay, so these are literally the seven steps that I'm gonna show you and walk you through in this video, okay, that I am applying to taking a brand new entity and I'm literally setting myself up for that company to do a million dollars as an affiliate collaborating with other companies. So step number one, I'm thinking like this, okay? Step number two is this. What you want, and this is what a lot of people don't think about, okay? What you want is you have identified, okay, I wanna be in a pen selling business or marker selling business. I wanna be in a cat training business, right? I wanna be in um, advice selling business, money management, uh, you name it. Whatever your industry is gonna be, whatever your niche is gonna be, whatever you're passionate and crazy uh, are about, right? Um, okay, second thing, you wanna make sure that you register a domain. So give your skyscraper before it exists, before you build it, give it a name, okay? Every single skyscraper usually has a name. So what is that gonna be? What is your brand gonna be? See, most people fail in affiliate marketing because they don't look at what they're doing as a real deal business. They're just looking at like, how can I make a quick 20 bucks? You know what I mean? And, and that's why most people fail is because they don't think like a business. They think transactionally. Affiliate entrepreneurs that are uber successful, when they're thinking about this, they think like a business. So every single business that you know has a name, right? What is your business gonna be called? So pick up a domain, okay? Domain.com, you gotta register a domain. Before you do anything, before you start getting traffic, before you start advertising, spending money, promoting any of these programs right here, no, 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 no. You want to have a domain that will give you a stake in the ground in the industry you're gonna serve, make sense? Okay, grab yourself a domain, Preferably .com, .net is okay, .info, whatever you want, but my preference would be .com. That domain will be your home on the internet. This will be the, the skyscraper. You're gonna give it a name. It's gonna be registered. Got it? Okay. Step number three. So step number two was to register a brand name. Register a brand domain. Uh, step number three. You got a domain. What you need to do is you need to create some sort of an entity, okay? It would be ludicrous for you to, say, to think that if you were to build a real skyscraper in the real life world and you wouldn't run it separate from you, okay? It would be kind of crazy idea to think like that. So why would you start a business, even if it's affiliate marketing business, why would you not register it as a separate entity. It gives you tax advantages. Now, if you are registered as an LLC, okay, for example, or Inc. or however, just talk to your accountant or lawyer, or, you know, whoever your tax advice, uh, tax advice person is. I don't wanna give you legal advice here. But what you wanna do is you wanna separate that business from you personally. It gives you protection legally. It also allows you, now that you have an entity, Let's say it's gonna be an LLC if you're in the States, if you're you know, in other countries, just find out however you wanna register, but you wanna have a business to stand on its own separate from you, okay? Tax advantages, number one. Now, every single expense, okay? What everybody's like talking about, well, to do affiliate marketing, you just gotta pick a product from Amazon Associates or ClickBank or this network or that, or just start driving traffic. If you're not running properly, you cannot write that off. You know that, right? Those expenses cannot be written off because people are commingling their stuff and they're digging themselves deeper into debt and like nasty situations that they don't wanna be in. So, you got a domain, register an LLC. That's step number three. Register an LLC or some sort of an entity, okay? Step number four. Now that you have an entity, now you got an LLC, what you need to do is open up bank accounts for your business. 
open up bank accounts for your business. Okay, I'm gonna do another video on this channel. If you're not subscribed, might be a good idea for you to subscribe and smash that like button so that I can notify you when I post that video. Uh, I'm gonna show you there is a specific formula that I follow when it comes to managing your money properly that will position you for tremendous wealth building and it will remove a lot of these frustrations, a lot of the anxiety around money. And it's got to do with proper management, okay, of, of your money. So I'm gonna do a separate you know, video on that one. It's called the RTWCGO formula for managing your money. It's gonna change your life, I promise you, okay? So stay tuned for that video or maybe find it on the channel if, you, uh, uh, if it's already out, okay? So step number, where are we at, four? You're gonna open up business bank accounts. Why do you suppose that you, I would tell you to open up business bank accounts, register this, before I talk to you about how do you pick an offer or where to pick an offer or where to get traffic, right? Well, A, you wanna make sure that you don't commingle funds, right? You wanna make sure you have clean business. You don't wanna have personal and business all kind of a jumbled together. You don't know which one is which and you gotta buy bread for your family over here. You gotta run ads over here and everything is one single bank account. It's a nightmare. It's gonna drive you insane, all right? And then you don't want the tax, you know, the tax man uh, to come after you because you messed it up, okay? So it's very, very, very important. Open up bank accounts for your LLC, clean business. Now, here's what's gonna happen. Every single expense, whether it's traffic generation or ads or you know, anything, even domain registration, okay, could be a write-off because everything now is business related. Make sense? Tax advantages, very, very important. Okay, now you've got an LLC. Step number five, my friend, is this, you're gonna build a hub. You wanna create yourself a hub. What do you suppose the hub is? Well, the hub is something like this. If you think of yourself as a business, think of yourself as, as, a, you know, as a skyscraper, this is metaphorical hub, okay? This is a place where people can come to congregate, okay? You go to like a skyscraper, the Willis Tower, the Trump Tower in New York, right? The big one that everybody knows and talks about, okay? It's got a lot of tenants. It's got like, so when you have a hub, you can have people coming in, right? People do shopping. They can, they can check out different things that this hub offers. This hub offers. And then when they buy, cha-ching, right? Cha-ching, cha-ching. You can get a cut, metaphorically speaking, from all of these transactions when you run it like this. Does that make sense? So obviously I'm talking here in metaphors, okay? But another idea, uh, or another, you know, um, kind of a uh, thing I'm going to talk to you about is think of yourself like an island, okay? If this is your island, your hub.com, so whatever your hub, your domain name is going to be for that business, okay, what you want is now, okay, when people go, and, and, and a good idea or a good example of this is, you know, the, the uh, this project that I started for, right, depending when you go there, um, you know, it offers different solutions, okay? Different products, and when people buy, okay? Those are affiliate products, basically that type of stuff. Okay, make sense? So this is your hub, but here is the big reason why you need to create a hub. Now, people mistake, okay? Is a hub a website? Can I go to Squarespace to build myself a hub? Not really, okay? Um, is a hub a funnel? Not really. A hub is not a funnel, but it has a funnel. Okay, a hub is not just a website, but it has a website. A hub, think of your hub as a place. Okay, so if you think of Atlantic Ocean and there's like an island in the ocean, right? No longer are you just transactional like in a little fishing boat trying to fish for the day, right? You own an island. There is commerce, there is ships coming and going, right? There is people coming, there is movement, there is activity. Now your hub is your brand. Okay, now, if your hub is a brand, every brand has this, this aura around it, right? That people, like, what's, what makes a brand a brand? A brand is not a, a logo. A brand is how people feel around that company or when they think about that company. See what I'm saying? And now your affiliate marketing business will grow to that level. Think of NerdWallet. Think of Expedia. Okay, all of these are affiliate marketing hubs. This is Expedia business model. Expedia is that skyscraper, metaphorically speaking, that has a lot of tenants, metaphorically speaking, aka different 
products that they're selling, when you buy an airline ticket or a hotel from Expedia or some kind of a travel package from Expedia, they don't deliver that product. They're simply connecting you to the company that does, and that company pays Expedia what's called an affiliate commission. Does that make sense? Okay, so you can run that business, but see, they're thinking like a skyscraper, whereas somebody brand new over here who's just watching an affiliate marketing video, they're like, I'm just gonna do Amazon Associates promoting a Amazon Associates affiliate link and hope to get rich. It will never happen because the, the approach is completely different. Does that make sense? Okay, now when you have a hub, this is your brand. So now you have something to get excited about, don't you? Right, now you got this, this, this thing that's like, okay, here's my stake in the ground, I am an affiliate entrepreneur, this is my brand. Now you think of yourself like, hey, I am the CEO of my own company, right? You might be at zero right now, maybe you didn't make a dime yet, you're just setting this up, but your entire approach, the invisible world, in the invisible, it's already done. In the invisible, you're already doing a million dollars a year. Make sense? Or more, right? Which is exactly what I'm building is like that. But most people fail because they never get past, they, they never even, even think about this type of stuff, let alone structure it, let alone like strategizing about it. Does that make sense? So it's very, very important. How do you build a hub? Well, a hub is where, is what you know brings us to the, uh, Step number six, and step number six is I wanna build a community. That's why you need to think of this like a hub. So if you think of yourself like an island, okay, think of yourself, can I build myself a community of at least a thousand people, okay? Step number six, build a community of a thousand people. A thousand fans, okay? A, th a tribe of a thousand members, a thousand people. Here is why that's important, if you have a tribe, people that pay attention to you, to whatever you have to recommend, whatever you talk about. Okay, see if I sell these markers right here. Do you realize that I can build an entire million dollar business with this model, selling a marker or markers? Okay, I can sell this Expo marker and I can review this marker. I can say what I like or don't like about it, right? On my hub and then I'm, I can, this can be my marker affiliate link right here. I can recommend it, but because I served my people on my island and I delivered this thing called value to them, now they have a reason to come back to my island and learn more from me, to get more, more info from me, to get to know me, right? I become a destination. That's why companies like Bankrate, NerdWallet, Expedia, and others, right, are mo hundreds of millions of dollars a year they do, doing that because they think of themselves as a hub. And now they have people coming to them on a regular basis. Now it's not gonna happen overnight, but the time is gonna go by, by no matter what. Okay, so how do you build a hub? I'm gonna do another video and give you uh, the platform and I'm gonna review the platform that I'm using to build my hub on. But a hub, it should be, think of it as a, as a, as a you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a strategic uh, uh, branded website that has funnels going to it. So we're gonna call these pathways here, funnels, okay? So maybe I'm gonna have a funnel right here promoting this product, okay? And maybe I can have this. So this is pathway that allows people to come into my hub and I can have multiple, one, multiple pathways, like these doors, right? That people will come into checking me out. And now when they're there, Okay, commerce happening, there's activity, there's bubbly, there's like energy, there's cool things happening. Now my community inside my hub, okay, I can have a community right here. We can do live events, okay, we can collaborate. People can comment on things. I can post videos, I can do reviews, I can do daily updates, I can do daily insider things. People can sign up and create a free account if they want to, does that make sense? I create a community and now there is a reason why I exist and reason why people should care. Make sense? This is how you strategize and make a million dollar and create a million dollar affiliate marketing empire. Okay? Okay. So step number seven, you, you know, step, step number six is you got a thousand people. Okay? Build a community of a thousand people. Step number seven, what do you suppose that is? Step number seven. 
Step number seven is scale and dominate. That's right. Step number seven kind of goes with step number one. Okay, so step number one was what? Think big. Step number seven, scale and dominate. When you have this structure, your responsibility, your duty, see, if you promote great things, products that you're passionate about, things that maybe help people transform their life or just stuff that maybe you're using and you are very, very passionate about, isn't that your responsibility? Isn't that your duty and obligation to sell as much of that product or service or whatever it is that you're selling to as many people as possible if you believe in it? Make sense? Do you think that if you have that model set up and running, do you think that it would be easy for you to sell those products? Absolutely, here is why. Sales, my friend, is simply a transference of feeling. It's how you feel about the stuff that you sell. They don't have to be your stuff. It can be somebody else's stuff. We can talk more about this in future videos. But myself, my, uh, my friend, these are the seven steps for starting a million dollar affiliate marketing business. Now, I know you might have a lot of questions like, where do I select an offer, right? How do I promote that type of stuff? I promise you, I'm gonna be putting, putting those videos out on this channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button so that the algorithm can find you and notify you uh, whenever I post a new video. I will be putting other videos uh, where I'm gonna show you how to find the perfect product, okay? The perfect product or company to collaborate with, okay? I'm gonna show you my formula, I think, about them differently. I don't go to affiliate marketing networks necessarily. I don't do Amazon Associates necessarily. Uh, my approach to that is completely differently. I'm also gonna talk to you about how do you promote now that you have a hub. And yes, I will give you a review on the system that I'm using for building my hub, okay? Um, and then uh, I'm gonna show you everything, okay? So it's gonna be, um, you know, hopefully this content serves you, but I want you right here. I want you to think differently. Forget about anybody right now. If you're brand new to affiliate marketing, if you're brand new to starting an online business and if you wanna make real money, like if you wanna just make pennies here and there and just kind of like rely on somebody to like, you know, buy from you, um, then maybe you don't need to listen to me. But if you wanna create a business, if you wanna structure a real deal business that you get to call your shots on, okay, that can be here to stay you can scale it, you can scale it to million dollars, multi, multiple millions of dollars per year or more, then the information I'm gonna show you on this channel is gonna be vitally important because my approach to this stuff is differently. I'm in the trenches doing it, and I'm gonna show you exactly what works. All right, so with that said, a couple of things I would, I'd like to ask you. Number one, if you are resonating with this content, if you like it, if you haven't yet, please help us out algorithm, YouTube, that type of stuff, you know. Uh, smash that like button so we can spread this message to more people. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we post new stuff and we do that on a regular basis. And then third thing, very, very important. Uh, if you would, please share this video with somebody else that you think might benefit from it. There is, there is a plague that we're, that we're trying to get through, okay? And that plague is wrong information that people are consuming that makes them keeps them stuck in making money online okay we want to spread this message we want to help more people and if you can sh help us with that it would be amazing because we can go on this journey together thank you so very much i look forward to seeing you how did you like that presentation do you think you understand what is affiliate marketing i hope so do you think you can actually start your own online affiliate marketing business? I hope so as well. You can always visit our site, thepeoplesdepot.com to learn even more about starting your online business. In the upcoming series, we're gonna be talking about how to start making money with online marketing, how to make large sums of money with online marketing. So I want you to stay tuned as we continue with this series, series of videos dealing with affiliate marketing. Thank you.